So I'm doing a thrifted transformation of this bright hair strip so I can wear it as a summer two piece or three piece. I don't know. We'll see at the very end uh, how well what we're gonna do. But anyway, let's get started on the scripted transformation bridesmaids edition. Time to get started with the scripted transformation. Let me just grab the dress from my assistant Daphne over here. Getting a dress off is for me to be uh, such a task. Okay, so I have the dress now <laughs> ready to get started. Okay, so fabric as lining, so I can actually use this uh, lining fabric to make a uh, bottom. So, whether I don't know, I'm thinking shorts or a skirt, I don't know. But yeah, I can do that. And then I'm thinking for this chiffon part, I'm thinking of just doing a, kind of like a, um, a cover up. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I'm going to use this as a cover up for maybe being on the beach or something like this. And so I think this will work, work great as a cover up. And the bodice. I'm thinking of doing a strapless bodice and having maybe some like a small arm um, uh, pieces here. I don't know if this is going to be enough fabric because this top doesn't have arm um, sleeves and the top actually fits me perfectly so there's no excess fabric to be used and um, yeah. Uh, let me see i'm thinking if uh yeah maybe this the top part of the of the bodice that i cut out for the sweetheart neck and uh, uh top that might be enough to make the arm piece that i want uh, it, it's very unlikely but anyway we're gonna give it a go and I, I'm gonna have to really I'm gonna have to seam read uh, the, um, the dress apart because I can't afford to just cut just cut the seams because there's not enough fabric this already fits me so I can't afford to waste any fabric with this DIY and uh, yeah let's just get started uh, let me see let me start with removing the zipper first and then We'll see how it ends okay so i'm done on threading the dress it took me like an hour because i had to be really be careful with the seams especially for this pink um do you call this again i forgot what, what do you call this fabric it's really 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 delicate so i couldn't be I had to be very patient with it because it really snags so easily as beautiful as it is it's like look i don't know if you guys can see this but look at that it just snags so easily so i really don't want to do anything to upset this material it's really really sensitive so i it took a while to actually uh, to take that dress apart oh this is a bit dirty so i'm gonna have to wash it but anyway this is the outer piece and what i've decided to do with this i'm not gonna do anything to it because it's really sensitive and i don't think it needs much what i'm gonna do is just gonna sew oh, sew the top here together uh it's got the elastic still attached to it so it can stretch so all i'm gonna do is just attach it right by the elastic and i then i can wear it as a cover slip to go to the beach and serve 
some leg game and this is the top all i did was detach the top uh from the skirt and the top is still intact with the lining all together and this is the lining of the skirt it's pink satin material it's that thick 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 well i chose this thick one when i was making the dresses so that it could give us a bit of volume at, because this pink um material doesn't it's it's really thin it didn't give a whole lot of volume so i chose this pink um i chose this thick satin fabric to give us some volume with the skirt and i have quite a bit of the fabric to work with so that is actually very awesome in terms of the bottom i have a lot of fabric to work with and here is the middle waistband um yeah maybe i can still use this waistband for the bottom i'm gonna i decided to do shorts similar to this uh with the pink with the satin fabric at the bottom i already have my my pattern for the shorts which are it's the same shorts pattern that i use for my rihanna and Cara traditional jumpsuit uh, inspired diy if you want to check that out i can leave the link above and you can check it out and yes so that is the plan for the tutorial so let's get started so first thing first is that with the top i've decided to do um, a sweetheart top and with a bit of cleavage and i'm just measuring from where the top ends into where i want my cleavage to be and i think about 14 centimeters uh from the top from where the neck ends to where I want my cleavage to be that's where I'm gonna mark 14 centimeters then I am going to fold the fabric in half and then I'm just gonna trace um, a sweetheart bodice uh, using on this you know I use the lining side because that's gonna be easier to work with rather than the lace it's got so many holes so it might be much more difficult to work with so i'm just gonna turn it this way and right let me bring you guys closer so to my work session so you can see what i'm talking about okay so i've turned the top inside out and i'm going to draw on the lining because that will be easier to work with than the lace as i've shown you it's got so many holes on it and i did say that i measured about did i say 14 i think it's 13 yes about 13 centimeters that's where i want my cleavage and due to the nature of this lace i i'm gonna forgo the whole princess uh seam bodice and i'm just gonna go with this uh bodice where it's just like a smooth top yes so this is what i'm gonna go with because i want to have um a smoother finish with the lace so So I've decided what I'm going to do with this leftover piece of the bodice. I'm going to cut it into wow, strips, well big strips. And I'm going to use, I'm going to join these strips to make uh, arms. 
for the top. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this gonna I'm gonna sew these two together like this and then sew it like this and then that's gonna be the okay so I'm done cutting the arm pieces I removed the lining from the fabric I think it's gonna look better without lining on the arms and here's the bodice piece that I cut and I just turned it inside out and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew along this top this the top all the way here and then I'm gonna turn it inside out and then put in the zip and the top should be done well after putting the zip then I'm gonna attach the arms but let me start with the arms I'm just gonna pin them like that and I'm not gonna overlock the edges I'm just gonna leave it just raw like this Okay, so I put in the uh, zip on the dress. It's not the best uh, job in the world. I'm not very good at putting the zipper, but there's a zipper there. It does, it's going to do what it's supposed to do. Now I've got the arm piece. I'm going to attach it to the bodice on the side. Yes, here's the side seam over here. And I'm just going to... I'm gonna I'm not going to stitch all the way. I'm just going to stitch maybe like a, a third of the way down. Okay, so I'm done attaching the sleeves onto the top. Did the zip. Not the best job, but there's a zip attached to the bodice. So the bodice is done. I'm just going to tuck this and I'm going to just hand sew the, this end part of the zip and then yeah basically done with the top Okay, so now for the ruffle piece, I think I'm gonna make, I'm not gonna make it that, um, that thick. I'm gonna make it the length of two times my waist measurement so can, I can get a, a nice ruffle out of it. And yeah, I think this, I want it to be this thick so that's five centimeters plus three centimeters for the hem so yeah that should do it just gonna draw a straight line across it's blue I don't know if you guys can see it but there's a blue
Okay, guys. So I have sewn the pocket. I've attached the pocket to the front and the back, and then I went ahead and I stay stitched the pocket onto the. I stay stitched the the pocket facing like this so that the pocket lies flat after I have sewn it. Then afterwards, I'm just. Uh, after, just below where you've attached your your pockets, you're going to snip up until the up until the seam line, and the reason why we do that is because you want to overlock the the piece that you've attached to the the pocket. I've already done this for the other piece. Let me show you. So, I've already snipped here as you can see. And then I overlocked this piece. And I did it for both sides, both the back. We're going to attach the two pieces of the pants together. What you're going to do is that we're going to line up the inner seams of the pants together. Making sure they match up really well. And put a pin right in the middle to make sure that it doesn't shift when we are sewing. So I'm gonna pin going all the way to the top of the pants. Then we're going to sew the pants together. I'm going to start sewing from the middle of the pants. Okay, guys, so I have the ruffle waistband here i went ahead and i overlocked both the edges and i sewed the top seam all around and i also sewed the belt close so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the elastic i already measured the elastic around my waist and i'm going to pin it on this seam over here I had originally said that I was going to put a zipper on the pants, but the pants are so big that I don't need to put a zipper on the pants. I can get in and out of the pants without having to put a zipper on it. So I'm just going to put the elastic. So I'm pinning the elastic on the inside just like this. And I'm just going to stretch the elastic all around here and just sew the elastic on the inside of the, the ruffle piece going all the way around until I'm done okay guys as you can see I am done attaching the elastic it was quite a challenging job because I had to really really stretch this elastic to the max okay so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take the pants and we're gonna pin this top to the pants I'm gonna start at the side seam over here and I'm going to pin hey guys so this is an accidental look that my cousin came up with I was putting on this slip over my shoulder and she's like oh why don't you wear it as a one shoulder dress and I was like okay let me try it out and this is the whole one shoulder dress look i'm feeling statue of liberty vibes in this dress i'm not sure whether i'm gonna put the tie in the middle or put it on the side i don't know i don't know which look is best but yes so this is the dress wow the one shoulder dress so this is gonna be one of the looks for this is going for the strapless bodice with the arms and the slit yes so this is the slit this is gonna be like a cover up um wear it out onto the beach or maybe a pool party somewhere or going on a picnic when the sun is out shining well, that won't be anytime soon for me because it's winter now and it's really cold. But yes, gonna be serving up 
some thigh this summer guys so tell me what you think about the look the first look and the second look guys and tell me which one is your favorite look okay guys so this is the final look the shorts the paperback shorts yes uh that i made out of the satin fabric and the strapless top guys um let me know which one of the three looks was your favorite and also make sure that if you have not done so if you haven't done so make sure that you subscribe below hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys next time love you